Okay, I see we have some people joining. I'm just um, getting my laptop up and running. So if you just give me a second so I can share this over to my business page. If I can find myself, it's telling me that I'm in a sale format, not that turn off, oh, uh, turn off sale format. I thought I did that. Sale format is turned off. Okay, I see you guys are commenting. Hello, Colleen. Thank you for the share. Nora, thank you for the share. Hi, Kathleen. As you come in, please say hello. Let me know where you're from if I don't already know you. And I found myself, so let me just share this over myself. Um, and then we'll get started. As you can see, I am using a lot of dyes for this project tonight. So we might be here for a little bit. So I understand if you cannot stay. Oops, I'm gonna share it one more place and then we're gonna get started. Excuse me one second, my arm. Here we go. Hope you're all having a great kickoff to the weekend today. I know I've been busy. So um, let me just introduce myself for anyone that is joining that may not be uh, regular here or that watches on YouTube. My name is Antoinette Bay. I'm with the Paper Papillion. I am an independent demonstrator, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Limburg, New York. And I'm happy that you stopped by to watch me make the card that I created for my daughter. I, this is one of those keepsake cards. And um, my daughter's 25th birthday was this just this past Wednesday. And we had some company for Surf and Turf. And um, we had a nice night. And the last thing she opened was her card. Uh, she already got a couple gifts from us. So I made sure that I gave her a special card and this is the card that I'm making tonight. I'm replicating it and then um, we'll get started. Oh, I forgot a light. I could see that it's a little dark. Now you noticed uh, if you're here regularly, I just put a different background tonight. I, I wanted it to be a little bit brighter and my light is not working, my other light. Oh goodness, what happened? Is the bulb out? It might be a little dark tonight, sorry. Let me see if I can turn on another light. My bulb is out. Okay. I'm gonna put my overhead lights on just to make it a little brighter. Now, is it loud in here? I have my AC on. Just tell me if it's loud. If it is, I will shut it off and I'll put my fan on. I don't want it to be loud for you guys. Uh, when I sit at my desk, it's right over my head and it's so loud. So from here, I'm hoping it's not as loud as it usually is. So I'm gonna get started. Uh, uh, Jean says, oh, hello, no worries. Let's see if everyone else is okay with it, if you uh, hear it. Um, anyway, we're starting off with some Highland Heather uh, blends, Daffodil Delight blends, so Saffron blends. Okay, thank you, Nora. And Just Jade blends, we'll be using those tonight. Now these are all the dies that it took to make up this card and one more, plus an embossing folder. So if my friend Kathleen is here, here is the embossing folder. I'm not using it with vellum, but I am using it tonight. I am using the Encircled in Beauty dies. I love these dies, love, love, love. Meadow, I'm using a couple of tags from the Meadow dies. Scallop Contours. It has the flower dies and it has all the scallop dies. We're using the uh, third largest here. Now I've got all these die cut already. We are gonna do a little bit, but um, most is done because otherwise we'll be here for three hours and we don't wanna do that. So I'm using the layering circles dies, using the penned flowers dies, and the star of the show is the brilliant wings uh, dies, okay? And as I said, the Pretty Flowers Embossing Folder. We're using hand pen petals, a couple of stamps from there, and a couple of sentiments from Sweet as a Peach. So, and we're also using Highland Heather. Now, one of the cardstocks in this set is 
um, a retired card stock, which is Purple Posy. And the reason I'm using it is because I do have a lot left over, first of all. Second of all, this is not a card that, um, well, it's a keepsake card. It's one of those complicated ones. So I'm using Purple Posy Highland Heather. And then I'm using some DSP from the, let's see, Hand Pen Designer Series Paper, which is my favorite this year for the new catalog. And I'm using some more retired paper. I'm using this stripe right here um, from the Hydrangea, which I used quite a bit too while it was available. So now here are lots of pieces. I'm going to take them out. We have an envelope and the butterflies. You know, maybe I should have kept the brown background because these are white and hard to see. Um, I'll put them here. These are all the pieces. So we have to emboss these right here. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that needs embossing. Nope, it's all good. Don't need any more embossing. These are all the pieces I die cut ahead of time because it would have been, we would have been here a while. <clears throat> okay, let me move this over while we bring over the embossing stamp and cut emboss machine. Okay, so the die is right here. Let me take this off. And we're going to use the gray number four. I'm really disappointed that my light is, is not working. It's out, have to go get a new one. Okay, so we'll put the two butterflies in first. And um, I forgot to put my phone on, do not disturb. And then my husband will be walking in from work, so the dog might bark. And let's see, sorry that I'm shaking. I'm trying to go easy. And what else can I tell you? Oh, 10 minutes before I came live, I got my order uh, just arrived with all the catalogs. So if you are, have been a customer of mine since January, you will receive a catalog, both the uh, holiday catalog coming up and the celebration catalog. And I received, hi Robin, hi Patricia, hi Karen, thanks for the shares. You got yours, great Karen, Kathleen. Okay, so here are those dies. Um, okay, now we could put this away. I don't think we're gonna need that, any, that anymore because I did most of the rest of the die cutting. Okay. Let's see, so I got a bunch of celebration stuff and um, new product to share. Okay, so we have these. Now the next thing we're going to do, I wrote what I need to do because there are a lot of steps. So I'm gonna take my four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of Highland Heather cardstock, and I'm just gonna score that in half at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm going to score this at Okay, so that was scored, actually it's good, scored at two and three quarters. Oops, that's okay. And then five and a half, okay? Those are the two score lines. And then we will give that a nice crease. I may not be pay paying attention to comments as we go, only because there's so many steps here that I don't wanna screw it up and I'll respond to comments later. Okay, so we are... I'm so sorry it's dark, it's bothering me that it's dark, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay. All right, so there, it's actually gonna be one of those stand-up cards, okay? Um, so if any of you have seen the um, a recent 
million dollar achiever card. I am casing that with different paper, pattern paper and different color, but I'm going for it. I went for it and I changed it up. So you know how much I love those million dollar achiever cards. So every time a million dollar achiever gets uh, announced, I'm like, oh, I can't wait until they, I see what card they make for that person. So that's what I'm all about. Okay, so now we're gonna take, uh, let's see, what are, ink up the images on the inside. Okay, so we're gonna ink this up. I'm gonna take some scrap paper. Hold on, let's get some scrap paper going here. And we'll start inking this up. Okay. So the stamp set we're using is hand pen at the moment. And we're gonna use this large image. And we're going to use this flower right here as well. So we'll use those two. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather. And I'm probably gonna stamp off, but I wanna see how it looks first. I used my Purple Posy for my daughter's original card and I didn't like the way it stamped. I think there was an issue with our purple posy at one time. So we really weren't supposed to be using the ink if we had it. It just wasn't inking up right. So let's get this going. This is the large one. First, let me see how dark it is. It's not dark, it's fine. So, oops, ink. I'm gonna go right about here Oh, that looks pretty. And then I'll take this one and go about here. And then a little bit over here. If you have any questions, please ask them and I'll look at them later when I'm done. So please feel free to ask. Okay, so now on this one, that I just, and by the way, I don't think I'm posting measurements or anything like that. So pay attention. This was four and a quarter by 11. And then it was scored on the long side at two and three quarters and five and a half. And this is four and a quarter by 11, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then there's going to be another one exactly the same size, four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? This was just a lot of work and it's a lot to get it going. I don't, and I'm really, really busy this weekend for the first time in a long time. I have a lot going on. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna ink up a little bit more here. Here. And maybe here and I think this one again I'll do a little bit on top and that's that okay and did I do the other one no okay so let's get this piece going this is gonna be the inside of the card okay so the first thing I wanna do is take my pieces here, which is, I want this one, and then I want this and this. So here's my hydrangea piece, and here's my hand pen piece. This is so saffron, and this is Highland Heather. This scallop is from the hand penned dies. And I just wanna make sure I have the right sizes. I do have the right sizes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just put this on top of here. I'm gonna bring my silicone mat over. So now these pieces are just half inch or three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter. Or they might be four and a half. I make them a little slightly bit larger so let me put some adhesive behind here. I 
and we'll glue that on top of this one. So like I said, they're about three quarters of an inch. Um, wrong, 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 wrong. I want this one. Okay, that's, I needed to glue. Let me turn this over for a second. I need glue here, adhesive here, okay? And then this goes on top of the stripe. And now it's gonna go, cover about half of it. If I could just get it straight now that I have glue on the bottom of the Highland Heather stripe piece, it's pretty straight. Okay. And then this is gonna go here like that. And just a little bit of the sew saffron is going to show. These happen to be my favorite, but they're double-sided. Like this is my favorite DSP and so is this. So I kind of wish that um, they were on two different pattern dis pieces of paper, not front and back like that. Okay, and then this whole piece. And I think I'm gonna trim this down just a notch. I feel like it's a little bit too wide. So I'm just gonna trim it down a notch. Not a very good cut. There we go. Okay, it's a, just a hair. And then this will cover up, even the stitch lines are getting covered up. And then we'll put a little bit more adhesive And then it goes on top of this. And I know it's extended out and we're going to cut that down. Okay, I'm just gonna take my scissors that I use that have, when I have glue on something rather than the trimmer Okay, so there you have that. So you have just a hint of the Highland Heather showing down here. Okay, so we'll put that on the side. Oh no, we're not gonna put that on the side yet. We're going to take a butterfly. Whoops, sorry if I'm shaking. And I'm going to put some liquid glue down the center of the butterfly. And then later we can put some more when we need it. I'm gonna put that one right here. And then I have another little one. And it does have some of the pieces in there and I wanna get them out. I did not go ahead and get all these little pieces out that were still hanging around, but I'll do that right now quickly. Okay, so I have my um, so I have my retreat on the 24th and then I realized that I have a lot of other things due on the 24th too. One of them being my subscription club is due on the 24th. So today was a day I got all the kits cut and packaged um, with the exception of four of them because I was waiting for additional um, gems to show up and they did tonight. I knew it was coming tonight, so I knew I could finish them all today and get them all packaged. I did my PDF for it 
and now I just have to do my um, videos and I will do that probably on Monday because I'm busy this weekend. So if you are not part of my subscription club and would like to be, you can join. You just can't get July's kit. You will get August's kit. And the subscription club is $39 if you're getting it shipped and $32 if you are local. And um, the, it, it's a, if you stay with it for six, you can cancel at any time, but if you stay with it for six months, you'll get $20 worth of free product at the end of your six months or when you sign up for the sixth month. Now this is from the encircled dies and this is from the layering circles. Okay, so I'm just gonna adhere that together. And this is purple, this is a uh, purple posy and Highland Heather. And let's just put that like that. Okay. And then we can adhere it to this. And I'm going to use adhesive for that. center okay so now up here I'm gonna put another butterfly and I need to poke these out too mm, this one's a little messy I don't know if I want to do that one and yeah this one got damaged all right I'm gonna put that on the side I'll find another one later we'll do that later let's do some stamping so for this, I am going to stamp Happy Birthday. Oh, I need one more stamp set. I need the um, art gallery. Hold on. Because I'm doing this one again in Happy Birthday. So, because it's the most useful. So art gallery, I'm using the Happy Birthday from there. Um, if I could find it. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Okay. And the reason I chose this is because the lettering is very similar to the lettering I'm using from um, your, your Peach stamp set. So here we are. And I'm going to use the Gorgeous Grape. I oh, I have that right here. Use Gorgeous Grape here. Now, obviously, this is not the card that is going to be given away this evening. I have three cards being given away this evening because I have a prize patrol for um, shares of, from last week's video, a prize patrol for commenting, and a prize patrol for the June orders I received. I forgot to do that last week, so we're gonna do that tonight too. So this one says happy birthday, and this is going to be in memento now we're stamping, and I'm going to be using the large flower, and I'm gonna do this like this so I don't shake up the whole camera. So yeah, I have that deadline for, I didn't need to ink that up so much. I have that deadline for, um, for the subscription club coming up on the 24th, but I'll be get able to get everything out sooner. And then I have, what else is the, oh, the retreat is the 24th. So I'm working on all the pillow gifts for that. I did post a picture for that. And I'm working on the make and takes. So I have a busy, busy week. So I'm going to take my Just Jade Dark, and actually I'm just gonna take the Just Jade Light first and color these leaves right here. And I need my glasses now. 
I know this light doesn't look too bad in the screen, but it is really something you get used to. And the other Just Jade flowers I need are, um, oh, let's see. Where is the other? Hmm. I'm just trying, I don't know if I have to stamp this twice now. Can't recall. Let's see, that is for that. Yeah, I do have to stamp it twice. two, three, and then, yeah, I have to stamp it twice. So I need this twice right here. So let's do that again. So this one that I'm doing right here, we're not coloring all of this. We're just coloring this little section right here. And this one, okay. That's all we're coloring is this little section and then this right here. So for this, I also need Just Jade Light. And then we'll let that sit for a second. And then we'll do the Daffodil Delight Dark. Or I could have started with the light. It doesn't matter if you start dark or light. It's totally a matter of whatever makes you happy. So I'm doing the dark right now to accent these lines that Stampin' Up! has already got in the image. And then I'm using a dark, so saffron. And just kind of blending it all. I'll let that dry for a second while I touch up the leaves with a bit of the dark Just Jade also on the lines that are already in the flower in the leaves. Okay, now I'll take the dark. Okay, and then I'm going to take the dark, so saffron, uh, I'm sorry, daffodil delight again. Now with the bullet side, doesn't matter, either or works. Actually, I think the brush side works better. It, it gets a darker image going. And that's that. And then I'll just clean this up a little bit more with the light, and then it'll lighten up. Okay. So here, we are going to cut just a bit and it'll go quickly and maybe I can look up and see some comments while I'm cutting here and this will come off. Let's see, Tammy shared. Thank you. Hi Tammy. I'm good. Thanks for sharing. Um, I only see a few comments at a time here. Let's see. Oh, stunning adaptation. Thank you, Jean. So this will not be posted on the demonstrator planning place because it is a million dollar achievers card, even though it's different. It still is. Um, so it'll only go on my blog. And like I said, pay attention to measurements here because I'm, I'm not going to be getting it getting them up there on my blog until uh, well the photos and whatnot not until next week Monday so there's that and now we'll cut this I didn't take a picture of my daughter opening her car because she was just like oh, she opened the car she's like oh mom this is so pretty so I said you know, I won't go down for, I won't be um, remembered for my great cooking, but I'll be remembered for my card making, I hope. <laughs> um, my husband does most of the cooking around here. Actually, I made, um, what did I make? I didn't make much, I just 
prepped a lot for my husband because he was working before he came home for her birthday celebration. Um, her favorite thing is just to have a Duncan Hines yellow cake with vanilla frosting and colored sprinkles. That's been what she's loved since she was a kid. She always asks for that. And then we always have something else on the side, another dessert, but she always asks for that. Um, and then we had, she loves oysters. We got some oysters for everybody. We had nice steaks. I made a burrata salad, burrata and arugula salad. And that was really good. With little crostinis, I sliced up the bread with, threw some olive oil, salt and pepper and broiled them to a crisp, which was nice to have with the burrata salad. And what else? Uh, can't think of anything else. Uh, what else we had? Oh, we had lots of corn and um, potatoes, all that stuff. Uh, and now my husband's home, so just in case, I think the dog was just barking. And you probably didn't hear it anyway. Okay. Now, what's the next step here? I am going to put this inside the card with liquid glue so I can manipulate it. So it's going on this base. right here, so the inside base. Okay, I'm gonna go like that and like that, okay? I'm gonna raise it up just a little notch. Okay, just like that. And now, we are even going to decorate this back piece right here. This is the front, but we're going to decorate this back piece. And I'm going to take this ink, again, not gorgeous great, but Highland Heather. Oh, I have to clean it off because I did put black on there. So let me get my cleaner and clean off the black. Oh, I'm glad I remembered that. This is going to go right. So then this is going to be the front. This is the back. I'm just going to put it there like that. Okay. And then we're also going to take a strip of the striped. And put that on top of the so saffron with adhesive. And then this is going to go Now, I'm trying to think this is gonna go like this. So this is gonna go down here like that. Actually this way. I have to make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, this is right. So now we can cut off this excess right here. So yeah, I have also labeling of the catalogs to do this week so I can get them in the mail to you guys that have uh, been my customers all year long. Can't wait for you to see all the goodies in there. Okay, now we're gonna take the other piece that is four and a quarter by five and a half because that piece is gonna go on top of here, but this is where all the fun starts, 
right here. And we have to do some flicking also. So now I'm going to take these three pieces. These are from hand pen dies. And let me move this out of the way at least for a minute. So these are from hand pen dies and I'm going to take my brush because I did not prepare this ahead of time. But I don't even care if all these pieces come out or not. It's gonna be behind the scallop piece. So it doesn't really matter. Some of them though, I wanna get out. I did not use um, a dryer sheet behind here. It would, these would have come out a lot easier and I didn't run it through enough times that it would they would all come out so easily. So, get that out of there. Okay, all right, that's good enough for me. Now we'll bring back the mat and just throw some glue behind here doesn't have to be everywhere, but it needs some glue in some places. And I could take a sponge and do this, but it's so, it's just so little glue going on, it doesn't really matter. And most of this will be hidden anyway. Take one and go up here. Oop, I think I'm too far down. Let's take the other and go about here. I don't know if I put any glue at all on this one. I want to stay down. Oh, Sonia, thank you for sharing. Hey, Heather. Sounds yummy. What were you yummying about? The barata? It was so good. And then this one will go, the barata salad, arugula barata salad. It was, um, I just saw it on Skinny Taste. And I said, oh, that's easy. I can do that. not going to mess that up. Okay, so all those pieces are on. And then I have the embossed piece that's going to go behind a piece of so saffron. So the so saffron piece is just slightly larger than the third scallop piece. This is the third largest in these scallop contours. So the yellow piece behind it is just going to be slightly larger. And I'm going to put some liquid glue on here. go on here and we're going to set that aside to dry for a minute because it has to be cut in half. Okay. All right. So we'll put that on the side to dry for a minute and this to dry for a minute and then we'll leave that there for a second. Now, here is a one and a half inch. Let me get these pieces here. This is one and a half inch by 12. Now, we're going to do that fan fold look. However, I'm just showing you, this is 12 inches by one and a half. You take your, um, let me see if I'm here in camera. You take your uh, stylus and start at a quarter inch mark, at the quarter inch mark and every quarter inch at every quarter inch, you give it a score line going all the way across, all the way. So we're not gonna do it all now, 
but that's basically what you're doing. So it's hard for you to see here, probably, I don't know, but you can see it on the reverse side. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna bring this close and then you just start accordion folding like that, okay? Until you get to the very end and then you have this. Now I'm sure you've seen this done before, okay? Now I'll show you how to put it together. And I will tell you, to accordion fold on a quarter inch piece is difficult with cardstock. You know, it hurts your hands after a while, I think, or your fingers. But with designer series paper, it's pretty easy, okay? So I cut out, I have a little circle, and I'm going to put some tear and tape down. I want something really, sh actually, yeah, I'll put tear and, tear and tape tear and tape down. I could use the um, stamp and seal plus, but I think I really want to go with tear and tape. I feel like nothing beats the strength of, of tear and tape. I'm going to pull these two pieces off and then pull it, put the final piece on. Okay. I don't know why that's being difficult but it is, and then I'm gonna put another piece on. Okay. Now, there's gonna be a piece of tear and tape on here as well at the, at the end, okay? That way we can marry the two ends together. Okay. So these get glued together, these two ends. Like that. Okay. And then on top of this, we are just going to push this like that. Okay. And there you have it. Nice and secure. Now, if you really want to secure it, take a little scotch tape. If you want to give it a little bit more that's fine. You could do that too, but it's not going anywhere. Now the edge that I right here is where I married them together. I really don't want to see that seam at all. So I'm going to be sure to put that underneath, whoops, underneath something. And I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Let's get this going. I'm just going to go like this, I think, and get all these little pieces out. Uh, let's go with the piercer. Let's get all of these out really quick. And I'll look to see, oh my word, I have never seen that done before. Oh, the accordion, really? Yeah, it's kind of an old, you know, it's an old, um, it's an old technique, honestly. Um, it's been around for a long time, but I've seen it being used a lot lately. Again, it's coming back. Everything old is new again, right? In clothing, in music, and paper crafting. Everything old is new. I like that. Okay, so here we are. We have this. And now we're going to do that um, tear and tape again. I'm going to put some right in the middle. I'm not gonna go too far to the edge because this is not gonna cover the whole thing. Whoops, now I went too far to the edge. Okay, just put that down because this piece is going right on top. I told you guys ahead of time that there are a lot of steps to this tonight. So I hope you're not, whoop, that came up. 
I have it too much on one side. Sorry, I need to fix that. Okay, that's good. And now I want to see where that crease is. See, it's so it's so my it's right here. It's so minute that it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm giving it a nice good press so it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'm going to take this large, the the solid butterfly, and put the hollow butterfly on top. Okay, a rosette. Ah, thank you. Lynn, that's what we call them, rosettes. I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just doing the body. We used to have a dye, a rosette dye, a long time ago. It was one of those Biggs dyes. Okay, so that's on there. So you don't really see a whole lot of the embossing behind it, but there, it's there. It makes a, it makes a statement. Okay, and now I'm going to take some of these flowers that I cut. Now, before I do that, actually, let me just put this on here. And I am going to use tear and tape here as well on the butterfly. Now, when I do these, I just look at the picture and really try to figure it out. I know the one that Stampin' Up! Concept Artist created is larger. It's probably six, mine is your average four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Base, oh, I wanted to do that. Where's that? Oh, there it is. It'll get covered there. Um, actually, it's gonna go like this. I wanted to do, I would have loved to have done a larger card, but with the envelope too, it would have been too much. I don't even know if we're gonna do the whole envelope here tonight. Uh, yeah, we will. It's a little bit different than this, so it's, it'll go quick. And then now we're going to take the um, Simply Elegant trim. It only comes with gold and silver. It doesn't come with two of it. I just happened to have an extra and threw it in here. Now I untwined it already. I, un, I undid this, so for my daughter's card so I have extra from that and I'm just going to glue it put it on here in different ways um, let's see I'm going to take a tag now for my daughters I did this yellow tag from the meadow dies but I think I like the purple posy better so tonight we'll do that one if I can get it through okay So we have that going and it'll just go, it's going to kind of hang a little bit for now. And I think I'll just put a glue dot right there to hold that for now. Let's put it there because it's going to get covered up right there. And so I'm just gonna let that kind of hang. Maybe not quite so far. Leave that alone right there. And then maybe do, uh, leave that. We'll put those on the side, okay? Now we're going to take this and put this on top and I'm going to use liquid glue for that. Now on this tag, I put my daughter's name on her card. So I left it blank for now. It can always be added for whomever. And we're gonna add another sentiment, but we're gonna put this on the side for a moment because I do want to do some splattering afterwards. Well, we're not doing splattering yet. We're cutting this in half. So let me get my trimmer 
and we'll cut this in half. So it measures almost four, so we'll just do just over two. Okay. And then we'll put this here and this here. But first, we'll go like that. All right, that's gonna work, but first, we're going to take the Fresh Freezer Open Weave Ribbon, okay, and make sure it's long enough. I don't think this piece is long enough. It is not. So we're going to get a nice long piece. And my daughter's was really long. I'm not going to make it as long, okay. So there's a nice long piece going around this. And I like the length and I want to secure it with a piece of scotch tape. Or tear and tape would have worked just fine. And now I'm just gonna knot it on top. that okay now we can layer so I'm gonna put some tear and tape here because I want this to be held very very well and tear and tape down here so you notice how it didn't really matter that all those pieces from the flowers here were out it didn't really matter going to go there. Oh, thank you for sharing. Hi, Dorothy from British Columbia. I know you. And that one will go here about the same length down. And hopefully this is going to be perfect. Yes, that is perfect. So I'm going to put some more tear and tape. Tear and tape is getting some action tonight. That's for sure. And my husband's gonna be like, what is she doing down there? He got home about, I guess, 10 minutes ago. Normally I'm done by eight, I think. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer than eight o'clock. I don't know what time it is now, but, uh, oh, it's almost eight. It won't be that long, because we're almost done. And that's gonna go here, like that. Okay. And then, let's do some stamping here. Let's just stamp, um, so we did happy birthday. Now from the Euro Peach, where is it? I want to say it's your day and let's celebrate you. So let's get that on a block. And I could have actually used happy birthday from here. I didn't even realize actually, but like I said, these fonts were very, this happy birthday font from art galleries, very similar. So and I'm thinking that some of this I should have stamped before I put the card together, but we might still be okay. So here's the base, and here's the top so far. We're almost there. Here's vellum. I know it's hard for you to see, but there is vellum right here. And I am going to stamp in gorgeous crepe the words, let's celebrate you. And it's gonna take a minute to dry. And let me see if I have it anywhere else. Oh, the word happy birthday, again. I'm gonna need that one more time. Oh, 
Oh, that's crooked. Oh well, I'll make it work. And then I'm gonna take that off again. Just put it right there. And let's kind of do the inside. So It's Your Day is gonna go on a solid butterfly. Okay, let's leave that there. And then I'm also going to stamp a little bit of this on the inside as well. Let me move this out of the way. So just kind of randomly, it's your day. Let's celebrate you. Um, let's celebrate you. Just kind of all over. It's your day. It's your day. That's it. This is going to get some splatter now, too. And these are drying. So let's get some splatter going now. Let's move things out of the way. Let me open this up. I'm going to take the dark Highland Heather. Let's see, the brush side. Oops. And just splatter a little bit. Not a ton. I always say that and then I get splatter happy. And then let's do, let's get rid of that over here. I think, I think it could use a little bit more. Okay. And then let's get the happy birthday tag. That's going to go right here and put some dimensionals behind that. And that's going to go out here. Actually, I'm going to splatter just a little bit more. Okay, let me get rid of this for a second. We're going to be splattering some more. So now this one is going to go here, the one where I said it's your day. That's going to go right back here. Let's just put that right on top. And then there was the other flower that we did, and that's going to go right here. So I'm going to put some liquid glue on the part that's going to sit right there, and then some dimensionals on everything else, on the rest of the flower. So the glue is up top here, so it can go sit right there. And then I'm going to get some dimensionals. Now I know that where it's going to be hidden, right here. And then I'll get a mini dimensional for the leaves. The mini ones are harder to take the backing off of for some reason. And I don't have any nails right now, so. Okay, and there's that. Now we're gonna, we are gonna, oops, all my dimensionals. We're gonna splatter again just on this. Oh, I need this piece. I don't wanna splatter too much. Okay. There's that. And then this goes here like that. 
So we're gonna put some tear and tape on here. Oh, thank you for sharing, Diane. Welcome, and thank you, Dixie. You say it looks gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. So like I said, Stampin' Up! concept artists are always such a great inspiration to me. When they make those Million Dollar Achiever cards, I just can't wait to recreate them all the time with different papers and sometimes with different die cuts and things like that, but mostly just with different papers. Okay, so then that's going to go like that, right? Okay, and you have all this room to write your note. And which is what I did. The only other thing I'd like to do is put on a butterfly, but this butterfly is damaged. I ripped it. I'm not done yet. We still have to put Let's Celebrate You on here. And I'll cut that down. And I'm going to use my trimmer for this. I want it to be right. I'm gonna get close. Ah, moved. I can't wait to make another one. The next one my daughter gets of these is gonna be when she closes on her apartment, her co-op, when she closes. She'll be getting another one of these with a little housewarming gift, you know? And then this, actually I should have done this first because it's supposed to go under here, but I can still lift it. And I can fix it later. So let's celebrate you is on there. And then whoever's name would go here. And then let's see, do I have any place else to put this? Uh, vellum, the happy birthday. Nope, not on here. And then that goes like that. Okay. And then there. And then you also have it on the back. Oh, you know what I did? I just noticed that this scotch tape wasn't supposed to... I'm going to fix that later. You have to be careful when you're taping in the back where you put your scotch tape because I just noticed that it's sticking out and I needed it a little bit lower. So I'll fix that after. But just so you know, scotch tape has to be very careful. So on my daughter's it had her name. We're not done yet, I'm still gonna do the envelope. And for some reason, oh, the Let's Celebrate You came out a little bit darker on hers. So I think I like this better, and I might change hers too. And then on the inside, well, there's all of that note that I wrote her, so I'll cover that up. And then there's the little butterfly there that you don't see on, uh, on this one here. But otherwise, it's pretty much, here I use black, I use Gorgeous Grape here, which I like better. Um, okay, so now let's just do the envelope. Hope you like that. And the envelope will go quick, but if you have, if you have, um, now I'm gonna be selling these. I'm gonna be loading it to my, um, I have a couple that I wanna sell, a couple of them. So if you want one, you just let me know. Email me, abay at thepaperpapillion.com. Okay, so just so you know. Um, let's get, let's get all these holes out real quick. I have a couple of cards, these create keepsake cards that I need to load to my site, my blog. Now I got my subscription running and I got my tutorials loaded. Now I just have to get all my cards that I'm selling loaded. And here we go. Okay, so now for this, I have my 
um, envelope punch board, right? And this is, um, let me get the measurement on this. Stampin' Up! used to sell it. It's eight and a half by eight and a half, I believe. Yeah. So Stampin' Up! used to sell it, but they don't sell it anymore. It's created, made by We Are Memory Keepers, so you can always go and get it. Um, so I need a four and a half by six card size right here. Four and a half by six. And then it, the cardstock paper needs to be eight and a half by eight and a half. And then I need to score it at three and three quarters. So I'm going to go to the three and three quarter mark. I'm going to give this a little score and a punch. Turn it around to that score line. Line up this notch with the score line. Give it a punch and then another score. And turn it around again. Put that little notch in the score line. So you're just going around until you are done. Now put this away, and then on the opposite side, there's a notch to, um, what do you call it? Do the edges here to, I forget what you call that. Okay, and there's the envelope, and I don't need my envelope anymore. Okay, and then this piece I need. Okay, so now I'm just going to crease these. And then I'm going to take this and the big stamp and I'm going to clean it off again because now I have the high, gorgeous grape or Highland Heather that I used on there. And I'm going to switch it to So Saffron. Just hold on a second so I can get that. So here's the So Saffron. And I'm just going to give this a little stamp. Let's see, about here. And a little up here. And then, let's see. Let's fold that in. And then we can give it a little bit on the back as well. Right in here. Just like that. That's it. I don't want to overwhelm the card, the envelope. So now you take some tear and tape here and do these edges. Now in my July subscription, they have an envelope like this that they'll be putting together for a different card. And next month, I'm going to be doing some fun folds in my August subscription club. It's called Paper Craft Club. I'll be doing some fun folds. And I may even be using the um, hand-penned DSP. I'm thinking I'm going to use that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So now we'll take... Oh, just let me make sure nothing falls. The belly band, so this is two inches by, I don't know, maybe ten and a half. Okay. And then before I close it completely, make sure you put the card in so you know exactly how loose or tight you have to make it. So the card's going to go in. I almost forgot that. And then you'll fold it down. And then you'll decide how loose or tight it needs to be. Okay, so I think that's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to put my tear and tape. I'm safe to do that. Um, but it disappeared on me. Here it is. Okay. And I'm going to put that up here. And go 
like that. So now it's not too tight yet so that if I need to loosen it up, and I think I do need to loosen it up a bit, it's not too tight just yet. Let's see. Yep, that's good. All right. Okay. So now we can do this, which this does not have that scallop or accordion or what did uh, Lois call it earlier? Um, a rosette. We're not doing a rosette here. We're just putting a nice layering circle right on top of the die cut. And then we're going to do the same thing here with the butterfly and just go right up the body with a little bit of glue. Now, all of this cutting and whatnot is done ahead of time. So can you imagine if we were doing the die cutting as well? So you know there's a lot of work that goes behind these keepsake cards for sure because all the die cutting has to be done first. But there's no way I could have kept you here for two hours. Okay, so here's this and this and this. So these are from the hand penned and I'm just going to poke some of this out. I could have probably left it, but and then put the little Highland Heather piece. I'm gonna actually use a glue dot for that just to make life a little bit easy right now. And put that right in the center. And then I'm gonna take a glue dot on the leaf and put that right underneath. And then this is going to go on top of here, but first I'm cutting this down. And I'm gonna go like this. And like that. And then we'll just give it a little bit of a wing or a flag at the end right up the middle and on the sides. Okay, and that will go underneath here. Cut some of this, and that goes underneath here. So I'll get a blue dot here. Put this right here, and then I'm gonna do some liquid glue here. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Like I'm not comfortable putting a lot of glue dots behind here, so I'd rather use the liquid glue. In fact, I think I put too much liquid glue on there, so I'm gonna take some off, sorry for my arm. And glue that right there. And then we'll get some dimensionals. First, I wanna get this down. Right there, and I'm going to use some tear and tape again. So this is pretty wide and big. It's gonna cover most of this area, so I can put three pieces to be secure. And for those of you that are still sticking around with me, thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate all your comments and your likes and your shares. Thank you, thank you. And then this will go like this, right on there. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals behind here. Actually, we're gonna put um, a little bit of that silver wire behind here too. So I do need a glue dot. Where is it? Where is the glue dot? There it is. I need a glue dot first. 
maybe two. So we could put the wire that I had left over from earlier, just kind of like wherever. And then some dimensionals. Make sure you don't go all the way to the edge because it does have to sit on top of the circle. Actually, that wouldn't matter anyway. And there you have that. Now let's get a little splatter going here too. And this time we'll use a little bit, just a little bit of the Highland Heather in the center and a little bit here and a little bit of the dark so uh, sorry daffodil delight oh, it went everywhere but my card There's that, and it got on my finger. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, move this over, this over, and then hold this off. Put it back on, just so you can see them together. And there you have it. So, what do you think? So yes, Diane, Diana, you love seeing the process. Yes, the process takes a long time when you're doing it from start to finish, meaning doing all the die cutting. But like I said, I didn't wanna keep you here for two hours. So there you have it, okay? I hope you like tonight's project. I know it's not something that you're gonna go and recreate. It's just something different and unique. And thank you to whatever Stampin' Up! concept artist designed the card for um, the Million Dollar Achiever. And I can't even tell you the name of the person that achieved it. She did it in, the person got it in um, greens. Um, I don't have my husband's laptop, otherwise I would look it up. But she got it in like soft succulent and this here this and soft succulent and uh evergreen I, i'll actually pull it for you hold on the succulent and the evergreen now i knew i wasn't going to recreate it in these colors for my daughter and also because i didn't want to copy it directly uh, because these would not be her favorite colors and they did a little bit of the uh pale papaya too so you can go on um, SoShelly.com. She's the uh, co-CEO or the founder of Stampin' Up! And you could see the card there. It was, it was one of the cards there. Um, so anyway, that's that. Let's do some prize patrol. Thanks for sticking around. Yay. Deborah, absolutely stunning. Thank you, thank you. All right, prize patrol. Like I said, there's gonna be three prize patrols tonight. One is for my June orders. I put you all in the fishbowl. Um, I forgot to do it last week. And that person is going to get a card that I created. All three of these cards that I'm giving away tonight, I never made online. So that would be this card that the fishbowl, the June orders is going to get that particular card. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see who it is. <laughs> Patty Golub. Patty is always some big winner on this show. Patty Golub, you are the winner of June's orders. You've placed orders in June and you 
have received a prize. Now for the shares from last week. Um, let's see, here's the card for the shares. Okay, so let me get that. This I did not make, it's kind of monochromatic. It uses the same paper I used tonight, only the opposite side, and it uses the hand penned. And it also has the floral embossing folder. So all the same um, things that I used tonight are on this card. Um, and that person for comment uh, shares is Elizabeth Hightower. Elizabeth Hightower, I don't know if you've ever won. I know your name, but I don't know if you've ever won. So I might need your address. That's for the shares last week. And now we have for the comments last week, we got lots. Now this one I made with, um, sorry. This one I made with, um, oh, wrapped bouquet. I never made it online. I don't know why, I like it a lot. And I just never had the time, I guess, I don't know. But same thing, uses that hand penned and the scallop from the hand pen dies, okay? So the winner for this card is, Elizabeth Hightower, again, for comments and shares. Oh my gosh, that's not happened in a very long time. A very long time. I've had duplicate winners before, and um, this is the first time in a long time. So congratulations, Elizabeth Hightower. You are the big winner, along with Patty Golub tonight, for Price Patrol. Okay, so I'll leave these here, and once again, I'll give you a look. Actually, I'll take these away. I'll give you a look at the card back. Let's see. You write your note up here. Another butterfly goes here, but mine is kind of ratty, so I'm not going to put it on. And then when you close it, but if you stand it up on the back, you have that. Okay, X minus the scotch tape that's back there. Alrighty, so there you go. There's tonight's prize I mean um card and I will be back again uh let's see what's today Friday I'm planning to go live again not on Wednesday my husband will probably be off on Wednesday so I'll probably do Thursday or Friday next week and then I still owe my paper pumpkin subscribers a live because I have my projects ready I just haven't had time to do a live for that so I'm going to see what it, when I can just pop on live. Anyway, thanks for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the likes, the loves, the shares. Um, I am very grateful for that. And I can't wait to see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.